Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson, Ali LaForce, our reporter. Now here's Griffin. Another shot. Outside for Irving. Fires in the triple. Well, Kyrie Irving can be the catalyst, or he can be the finisher. Catch and shoot game is on point. Outside Paul. It's Bridges on the wing. Up top Booker. Chalk up two there. Devin Booker. And Grant, you look at these rosters. A lot of talent in the backcourt. Oh, a sign of the times, B.A. Agility and skill is in demand, and that is on display tonight. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Here's Booker. Here's Ayton. Soft touch off the glass. Well, you have to love DeAndre Ayton's effort, intensity, and relentlessness as a rebounder. Screen by Durant. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. Man, good whistle there. At the line. And of course, Kevin Durant signing a big extension this summer, fresh off a gold medal for the U.S., where he was the most dominant player in the world in Tokyo. And now locked in his next four years with the Brooklyn Nets. A great deal for him and a great deal for his squad. Here's Harden. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Irving for three. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Irving's got six. Well, Kyrie Irving is a three-level scorer. The three-point shot is definitely in his arsenal. Paul, the open look. Again, the Suns good for two. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Harden with it, and it's Paul picking him up. Puts it up from 12, and it's good. <laughs> Off the back of the rim and in. Few guards in the league can carve out space on the interior the way Harden does. He put some rage into that one, B.A. You're telling me. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Now here's Harden. the slam oh an athletic move by james harden beating the d and then rubbing it in their face with the slam these calls can be so difficult for officials to make both teams deciding to change it up pain with it irving picks him up oh it's blocked by aldridge a quick leaper with good instincts aldridge can be so disruptive as a defender Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Now here's Harden. Driving to the basket. And it's Harden with the big finish. <laughs> Check it out. Harden putting on a show. Throwing down an acrobatic dunk. And it's Bridges with the jam. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Green by Durant. To the middle. And Durant with the big finish. How about the explosiveness from Kevin Durant? What injury? Forget about that, folks. Up and off his feet. To the wing on the left. The three from Aldridge. Drops in the three. Oh, he's consistent from out there. Especially when you give him that kind of room. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Durant. Substitution for the Suns. Brooklyn on D. They lead by seven. Fast break. Here we go. This is intelligent basketball. Forcing a turnover and then immediately starting the fast break.
51 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Claxton. Shot clock at six. Boom! He jams it straight down. Man, that was fast. They're already up by double digits. Wow, they've come out strong. Control the pace, assert their will. Nice. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Here's Irving. Sweet little floater. Irving's got eight points. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Payne. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Steps back. Screen by Claxton. Kick out to Brown. Cross is over. And Brown with the stuff. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid and from the opening four. tip. And guys are making their shots. All right, look who's coming out to the court. Come on. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Nets? They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. Well, Chris Paul, when he feels like he can get his jumper going, he's going to it. There's such confidence in that shot. And the shot goes in. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Sends it home from three-point land. Joe Harris has zero doubt about his ability to knock down range shots. How pretty is that? Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Hires the three. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Harris has got nine points in the quarter. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Something we do not always talk about is that Joe Harris is not just a shooter. Even though he doesn't rack up huge assist totals, this guy's a solid passer, he competes on the defensive end, and he can actually put it on the deck. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. From deep, Johnson nails it from three. Johnson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And what is it specifically that makes Harris a good playmaker, Doris? I think it's probably his IQ. The fact that he can see a play develop before it really gets to a position where most guys see it. He has a great feel for where his teammates are, and he knows how to hit them in their favorite spots. Johnson with a double team. 4-3. And they recover it. Crowder left side. Second chance shot. Damn it, no good. Now the Nets with it. They're on an 11-3 run. Kick out to Brown. And the Nets miss again. Boy, the Suns are struggling. Paul from deep three-point land. And it's Harris with the rebound. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, you want to talk about a super team. Last season, the Brooklyn Nets became the only team in NBA history to boast six players who'd made it all NBA over their career. Guys, the roster has changed just a bit, but make no mistake, this team remains loaded in a way we don't see too often. No question, Ali. Good stuff there. Thanks. Well, at the wing position, Grant, you were one of the league's best passers. Which wing players stand out to you in that category now? You know, I, I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that who 
really read the floor. They understand and can pick apart defenses at any position. Those two are ones that stick out the most. And Booker with the jam. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. Out to Harris. Launches it. Knocks it down from distance. Harris has got 12 points in the game. And another one from distance. He's hot, and they keep feeding him. Yeah. Who wants the defense? One twenty-five left to play in the first half. And the Suns with possession. They trail by 14. And the call will be against James Harden. That'll be a second foul of the game. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Got a piece of it. Inside. And now the Nets on the break. And he gets the bucket. Ten points for him. You simply cannot give Kyrie Irving room to run in the open floor. This guy is a phenomenal transition player. Booker with it. Irving picks him up. It's blocked. They retain possession. Outside Durant. Fires for three. And the Nets, another three. Look at Kevin Durant, all six foot nine, but what a handle. Gosh, that move was pretty. Outside Booker to end the run. Drills it from deep. And talk about payback. He hits the revenge triple. Oh, you love to see the competitive fire. A little bit of pride at stake. Outside Durant. Clock at six. The Suns clear it. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. And stolen by Irving. Four seconds left. And it's slammed in by Durant. Kyrie Irving understands how to find an open teammate. Puts it exactly where it needs to be. First free throw is good. Shooting for Phoenix. Cameron Payne. And so he makes both from the line. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. At the half, the score. Brooklyn, 52. The Suns. 36. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets with an impressive 16 point. Okay. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive. And it probably has to happen quickly. Out of bounds. It'll be the next ball. This is one of those nights. Mistake after mistake. A comedy of errors. Here's Harden. Now off the inbound. And it's good on the lay-in. Harden's got 10 points in the game. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. And now the Nets on the break. And that one's good by Durant. 11 points in the game. Absolutely no mercy right now for Kevin Durant in transition. Those long strides, that's an easy bucket. Outside Irving. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Chris Paul. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. There is an absolute certainty that when Chris Paul stops playing basketball, he will be in Springfield in the Hall of Fame. Wherever he's been able to play, he has been able to thrive. 
Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now, the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. After being so smart with the ball in the first half, he's gotten a bit careless. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. To the paint. Durant. And Durant with the big finish. Griffin. The ball handling and passing of Griffin. It's what helps set him apart from other power forwards. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. And with Paul, after some injuries early, he changed how he went about his offense. Well, you think about him coming out of college, he was very solid athletically. Still good in that department, obviously. But the vast majority of his success comes from one of the best IQs and knowledge of the game that we've ever seen. Yeah, strong defensive pressure has given him the advantage here. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Thanks, Brian. DeAndre Ayton being the number one pick in 2018, his potential is obvious. With this team on the rise, he's looking to impose his will on a nightly basis. Ayton said, quote, I know how hard I work and what kind of a player I am. I'm trying to take over every possession, being more dominant every game. Oh, scary thought, Allie. Thanks. And Booker with the jam. Well, Devin Booker has Next. proven capable of sustaining an offense All by himself. Defense better court. start to Come get on. locked in. Both teams making some changes here. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And Mikael Bridges picks up the foul. That's his first foul. His first foul. First team foul. To the left wing. From deep, Johnson. They've been struggling to find success from distance here in the second half. He drops it from range. He could have looked to score that himself, but in this particular instance, the advantage is playing inside out. Johnson with a bucket. Three. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Down low. Here's Johnson. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Aldridge. There's the block. Such a strong defensive player. Bridges understands I've got size and quickness. The rejection, yes, sir. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Some people don't give Chris Paul enough credit for his outstanding shooting, but he can knock it down. You can't give him any room. Brooklyn with the ball. The kick out to Johnson. And here's Mills. I'll tell you, you cannot shake Chris Paul when he's locked in. His defense is as good as it gets. Johnson with a double team. Back to Shamit. Johnson with it. Give him eight. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's on LaMarcus Aldridge. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Both teams will make substitutions. 
Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Screen by Claxton. Pass to Harris. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harris has got 15. And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. It would be smart to hold for the final shot. Well, that's yeah, great execution if you can do that because it takes any chance of momentum away from your opponent. Pass to Claxton. Outside for Harden. Driving in. Now Millsap. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Millsap's got his second bucket of the game. Yeah, the focus of the defense. I mean, James Harden was able to use that attention and That's turn cool. it into a hoop for play. someone else. And so it's Brooklyn. Right. A huge 24-point lead for them. Get loud for your Brooklyn end. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Here's Harden. To the inside. Nifty move. And the bucket is good. Griffin in deep. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his fourth foul of the contest. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Outside Booker. From downtown, Durant pulls it in. And so it's Brooklyn with it. Down low. Here's Claxton, and the ball out of play. The Suns will have it, Coming up on the and the Nets Point making Jones. a change here. Yes. Marcus Aldridge. Up top, Paul. Crowder outside. Booker drawing the double. It's stolen by Johnson. And here they go on a free run to the bucket. That one goes. Count it. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Nets? Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. Here's Paul. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Working inside, Chris Paul has the ability to outsmart the opposition and makes himself a good shot opportunity. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Defensive foul. And talk about Jim imposing Brown. your will. That's ten straight points in the paint. Boy, this guy a multifaceted talent, and not just on the court. Kevin Durant has said, quote, basketball is just what I do and love, but that isn't just who I am. This guy really tries to make a difference. Irving with it, and it's Paul picking him up. Aldridge up top. Over Booker. Shoots a fadeaway. Aldridge misses. And Durant has helped many people with generosity. Yeah, once committed $10 million to the college track program to help disadvantaged kids receive a higher education. He's been renovating basketball courts around the world. And obviously, as an entrepreneur, he's been focusing on companies and products that are making lives better. How cool is that? Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Just five to shoot. Durant Phoenix driving foul. inside. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Boy, Devin Booker is just such an explosive force on the offensive end. He can take over a game each and every night he steps between the lines. Here's McGee. 
Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his third push hole. Boy, when Booker gets locked indoors, he's as deadly as they come in the NBA. Well, the list of guys who've gone for a 70-point eruption is still very short. 20 points per game for almost the entirety of his career. This guy scores with ease. I don't care what defender you send at him. Inside. Lots of room. A nice shot by Brown. Outstanding pass on time and on target. It's Shamit on the wing. Brown with the steal. Last two minutes to play. Fourth quarter. Left side Mills. To the paint. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Such a nice touch on the ball from Aldridge. He knows exactly how much power to put on the inside shot. At the line. That one misses for Aldrich. One forty-six left to play in the fourth quarter. Out left to the wing. From deep, Johnson. Aldrich pulls down the board. Here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Pass to Shaman. Back to Payne. Six on the shot clock. And here's Sharich for three. He can't hit that time. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Nets. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. This is the kind of damage DeAndre Ayton can do if he gets the right positioning. Nicely done. And it's good. Two points. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. That one rocked this arena. That's the kind of dunk right there that makes you think he's going to rip down the rim. Pass to Millsap. Now here's Aldrich. And that one hits the back iron. Poke loose. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harris. Coming out to the floor for your Nets. Nicholas Claxton. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Johnson. On target from range. I tell you, he's making everything he looks at tonight. He should be their number one option on every possession. Here's Millsap. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. A polished veteran with an entree of moves at his disposal. Millsap knows how to keep defenders on their toes. Pass to Claxton. And he dunks it down. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. 